Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to a little review of Ships 2017. Um, so first off I want to say uh, thank you very much to the guys over at Playway Simulations uh, for sending me the review copy of this um, this product today. We're going to we're going to have a look at it. Um, and uh, and yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to I'm going to start this by saying okay, you know I, I'm cool with all the stuff that's coming out from indie devs. It's really important that indie developers get the, you know, get a lot of um, exposure and get some experience. It's really, really important that they do for the whole gaming industry. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, okay, cool. So anyway, this is a um, uh, independent production um, uh, from Frag, Frag Out Studios, um, published by Playaway Simulations. Uh, okay, so basically the premise is, is that you've got access to three ships um, and you get various missions assigned to you and you have to go complete them. Okay, cool story. Alright, cool. Alright. Um, let's first of all have a look at the menu here and let's have a look at uh, and then some of the settings and then we'll go and have a look at some of those ships and the missions. Alright. So, first off. Um, Alright, as you can see, it's fairly chunky, fairly blocky. Um, so, straight away, it feels like this should be on Android or iOS or something, like straight up, it feels like it should be, and I haven't even got past the menu yet, so, alright, okay, so anyway, let's go into options, alright, options. So, um, options, options are, you know, reasonable, uh, in terms of, you know, graphics options, um, so you've got quite a few different things, you can, you know, do a whole heap of stuff, you can, you can use presets, or you can customise everything, that kind of stuff, um, you know, you've got all sorts of options you can go through and do. Cool. Okay. No worries. Um, miscellaneous options basically means the volume. That's it. So straight away, there's no way. There's no key binding changes. Um, you can't use a controller. You can't use anything. You can use. You use the touch. You use the touch interface. Well, well, you can use the screen interface, keyboard and with uh, mouse, or you can use keyboard commands. That's it. So there's no controller input. There's no other things you can't re and you can't rebind keys or anything like that. So this is it. This is it. And why did that change? Anyway, all right. <coughs> um, so yeah, options menu fairly limited. Fairly limited to what it is. Um, you've got credits or you can play. That's it. All right. Okay. Cool. It's it's basic. So all right. Cool. So let's go and play shall we okay so essentially you get a choice of either you continue your current game or start a new game no multiple save games here it's one career mode save that's it it's um uh it is also you know the term iron man save so you know there is no sort of resavings and stuff like that it's uh no no it's a straight iron man save that's it all right Continue. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, so as I said, you do get a choice of three ships. Now, um, when you first start your campaign, it says um, you will give you enough money to start to buy any of the three ships. No, that that's that's not right. Um, all it is, you only have enough money to actually buy this one, the cargo ship. That's it, FYI. Anyway, um, and here's the other thing, is that, you know, um, it just seems that there was a lot of QA was not done. Um, particularly the English translation uh, was not done so yeah there's a lot of grammatical oddities um, about it but anyway all right so as I said uh, so your first ship the, the ship that you'll start with is going to be the cruise ship uh, sorry the cruise ship the uh, the cargo ship uh, okay cool you, it's part of the world ship line uh, how generic can you get and it's the ship special okay now I want you to remember that because that's gonna come up a lot more uh, so ship special cool done uh, the other ships you have of course is the DCV builder so uh, deep construction deep water construction vehicle um, yep cool um, do uh, unique underwater deep water operations All right, cool uh, basically this thing's a platform dock thing and it's special ship again it's the DCV builder special ship uh, so you got a couple of cranes on it that's cool. And then there's the Orange Ship. Uh, yes, yes, that is the name of the ship. It is Orange Ship. Yep, okay. <coughs> cool story. Uh, so yeah, th these ships actually in real life are really fascinating and really cool. Like, you know, ever wondered how a ship gets from point A to point B when it's broke? Uh, yeah, pretty much this is where they get one of these things in. They go underneath it and rise up and the ship gets transported on its back. So, kind of cool, like a flatbed um, lorry for ships. So yeah, cool. Um, you know, with big special on the front here. Uh, and yes, the title, Orange Ship. Um, yeah. 
So these are your three ships uh, that you get to choose from, um, yeah, that you will you know, earn, buy, and choose from when you go through here. So that that that's this is what you got. All right, let's uh, let's let's start off with let's have a look at the uh, the, the the cargo ship first because this will be the first one you get if you get it. Um, now, when you buy your first ship, or whenever you go into your ship, um, you've got this little sort of ship parts thing up the top here. Um, essentially, what this is, is that when you first buy your ship, your ship's broken. Uh, it broke. It's got bits wrong with it, and you've got to fix bits with it. Uh, and in if you hit things hard enough, or, you know, do enough stupid stuff with it in a mission, um, you will have to come back here and repair said broken parts. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really generic. Um, there's no real sort of things that actually get, you know, it, it, it doesn't really even graphically change that much when it's broken. So you have to look for the little icons here. So down here will change color to red or uh, yellow or gray, uh, depending on how broken something is uh, down here. And then you can click through and you can highlight the things that you need to fix, and, you know, and that's fine. Um, so for example, at the moment, everything's working, but you know, as I said, when you actually, when it's broken, there's no real thing showing that it's broken visually on the model. It just says it's not working. Um, you know, you've got ship's lifeboat gear, useful for emergency situations. Cool story. Um, you know, like, so generic. So generic. Anyway. Um, so yeah, as I said, it, it's basic. It, it's, it's, it's pretty basic. It's pretty basic. It's pretty basic. Okay, so yeah, that's the thing, um, uh, and these repairs cost money, and sometimes you can just refit and sort of part repair them, otherwise it's, you know, full repair and whatever. Anyway. Um, okay, so... Then you've got your missions screen. So you can go through and do a variety of missions. <laughs> There's not a huge amount of variety either. But like, I'll be honest. And yeah, okay. All right. Let's let's do a couple of random missions. We'll do a mission from each of the um, uh, from each of the three ships. So let's let's start here with the cargo ship one. Um, so you know, it's things like, you know, you, you load cargo onto your ship or offload cargo from your ship. Um, you know, it's um, sailing between different ports and stuff like that. But here we go. Or you randomly, randomly, there's actually a fourth ship in here. It's the tugboat, um, which you will randomly get to use throughout each of the three different ships set of missions. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Um, all right. Let's, let's do... What do we got here? So... Alright, let's let's do. Let, well, actually, we'll do two from here because this is the um, this one actually the, the the container ship one. You both get to be the ship, and you also do some crew management ones. But this is all very much on rails, like really on rails. Alright, let's let's do a stormy seas one. Alright, okay, let's do this one. Alright, now here's the thing. Alright, ship controls, kilometers an hour. I'm sorry, no ships ships are not kilometers an hour. They're not. Okay, they're in knots. Just saying. All right. Um, your keyboard commands are W, A, S, and D. That's it. So W and S for your speeds, and A and D for your right or left and right. All right. So our first thing is we've got to leave port now. Basically, this is how this rolls. Put the speed up. Jack the timer. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot to this. There's really not. Um, like, th th this is it. By the way, um, the A time speed, there is no day-night effects either. Um, so if you are hoping for, you know, for example, like, this this storm looks really cool. That could be cool with different, like, you know, lights and whatever. Nope, nope, nope. I, as part of testing, I sat here for half, like, half an hour to an hour with A time speed on just to make sure that there was no day-night effects. No, there's not. There's no day-night effects. That's it. And basically, this is it. Like, you know, we're going to now get to our second port, which is on the other side of the map. That's it. So, let's continue cruising. Do, do, do. Yeah. So, anyway, so I'll, I'll the, while we're talking about this, it's so graphically, you know, it's it, it's look, it's a, it's Unreal Engine. Uh, it's just not too bad, but at the same time, it's sort of a case of well. It's, it is fairly basic, um, zooming is, is a nightmare, it isn't a continuous zoom, like, it's just really clunky, um, and 
as I said, it's just not hugely graphically appealing. And the mission structure is so very basic. Oh, okay, they, the, the, one of the claims is, is that the, you know, water physics is, you know, excellent and the rest of it. Yeah, I know it's really not that good. Um, and just looking at the ship model, you only realise how far this ship was sitting out of the water with all that cargo. Yeah, no, the water line should be right up there somewhere. Like, it shouldn't be all, it shouldn't be barely covering the propellers. It really shouldn't. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. Anyway. Uh, yeah, anyway, so this, this is kind of it. It's kind of it. All there is to it, really. And you pretty much leave a eight times speed on, like, all the way through. You really can. So, yeah, it's just, you have to point it and go. You got the little. Okay, so anyway, uh, we'll, we'll spend a bit of time for the rest of the hunt here. Uh, this gives you a little countdown distance of how far before your docking port is, um, how much money you have. So, each of these jobs will earn you money. Um, and which you can use as I said for like doing things like spending on ship improvements and whatever. Um, and yeah. Don't really have a lot else to say about that, really. Anyway. Um, alright, when you get to when you have objectives and stuff like that, you do have um, like little boxes marking it where you need to put your ship. The thing is they're not that accurate. Um, Sometimes you don't even have to be stationary, or you don't have to be completely in it to be able to uh, qualify for the mission, um, you know, stuff like that. Oh yeah, and by the way, you've got no like side impellers like these ships actually should have. You don't have those. So you've sort of basically got to like line it up. it up like a tonk truck. So if you're expecting some form of like actual like, you know, ship bridge kind of like simulation thing, yeah, you are not going to find it. You're really not. And there you go, like, cool, fifty five hundred thousand dollars, fifty thousand, whatever it is, you know, that's it. Cool done. Alright, back to shipyard.
Alright, so that's that. Let's let's show the crew management mission. Crew management mission, again, like all on rails. Totally on rails. Um and no mission editor either. Like, you know, it's not like you can create like, you know, your own missions and to be able to do stuff with this. Like, you know, it's not like you can do that. Anyway, uh, alright, okay, uh, alright, what have we got? Let's get you on here. Two of you in the old lifeboat. Yeah, basically, so you got two um, crew management missions, three crew management missions. You got a fire on board, um, you've got a. Uh, you've got. What else did you end up with? You end up with a fire on board, you've got a pirate attack where you use water cannon to be able to uh, fend off some pirates, and you have a. Um, one where you actually have to get the. Uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? Yeah, if, if I remember. And then this one, you've got to rescue crew members off here. Like, that's it. Why are you not getting on there? Oh, that's cool. Cool story. Nice. Nice. And that's even broken. Nice. Alright. Yeah, but essentially for this mission you've got to look for little red dots in the water. And then once you lock onto the red dots, your lifeboat will go save the people. And there. As I said, it's yeah. The crew management mission is sort of you get one of each, and that's it. You know, and it's just like oh, something better could be, could be done with this. Anyway, oh, Robo coming to pick them up. Okay, so that one couldn't even see. So, but that was supposed to have like the um, the re. That was supposed to have a red marker. Couldn't see the red marker on the third one. And that's the other thing. This game will randomly crash as well. Just randomly throw you back to the main menu because it can. Um, like it's just not finished. Bottom line is is this game. This this title is just simply not finished. It's really not. And it's really frustrating, like, there a couple of times where it's kind of like, yeah, okay, well, this could be fun, a bit of interesting, but it's like, the, the, the mechanics are just broken, and it randomly doesn't display things, and it will just randomly crash on you for no apparent reason. Uh, so, alright, well, let's have a look at, so here we go, so, uh, let's, so here we go, here's a great example of some of the things you can do here. Uh, what we've got here, some really big, transport mission, drilling platform, yep, okay. Alright. So here we go. So you've got to pick up a some containers, and you've got to f and ferry them back. Okay. All right. So this one here is you've got uh, two modes for the submersible ship. Uh, so I'm going to uh, put you over here. Now, 
once you've, uh, yeah, you can also then submerge your ship. And you can use these thruster impeller things to actually be able to uh, put things on the deck. As I said, basic controls, W, A, S, and D, Q, and E to, um, to rotate. Uh, but as I said, there's no, um, like, changing the controls. It's just, they are just the way they are deal with it if you don't like it too bad. Do slide across. No bonuses for getting things done in like brief times and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and to secure things you have to like emerge. You can't just like secure it while it's down there because that would be easy. Click and just click the little interface. Can you see that this is really designed for touch? Like you know for touch screens. Like it seems to be like the way things are these days, you know, design everything for touch screens and then, you know, see what happens. Um, this gets slightly interesting as well in just a moment. Um, so I'm going to turn this around. Be tricky. So here's the The collision physics are a little weird. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Let's... So, by rights, you know, I should have destroyed that because, you know, I've got guy wires going through here. So I question the physics of this thing. I really do. Uh, anyway, all right, cool. Let's uh, bring you up. So you know, now got guy wires there. Cool story. And now this is interesting. So this is gonna, you know, you know we uh, submerge ourselves. Let's now uh, back this up. Okay. Now, okay, last time I did this, that was, became a collision box, and basically I just, I got lots of, lost money because of a collision because of that, and it was like, really? It's just so random, some of the stuff that this does. It really is. Alright, now we're going to bring all that back to port. As we go. Cool story. Off we go, la 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 la. That's the open port one. It's just, it just, you know, there's no wake. Like, there's no wake. Like, all this stuff about, you know, supposedly for all these brilliant physics, it's like, no, no, there's really not. Like, the ship doesn't have a wake. What the hell? Ugh. Yeah, like, seriously, what the hell? Uh, yeah, y yeah, okay, you know what, it was a, it's a nice idea, you know, it's an interesting idea, but just not well executed, just really not well executed. Um, this is essentially a made for iOS title that has been come to, that has come to PC, I don't even know if it was ever in iOS but it just should never have come to PC. It really shouldn't have. This should have been left well and no alone in the world of, like, mobile devices. Random graphic glitches happen a lot, too, by the way. Yeah. Anyway. I didn't even have to actually get into the set, into the box! What? <clears throat> it's broken. Bottom line, kids. Um, you know, okay, fine. I said I'd, I said I'd do it, so let's show you the the last ship as well. But it, this is fundamentally broken. It is fundamentally broken. Um, it basically never went through QA. Bottom line, like it never went through QA. Um, it, it just never went through quality assurance. It's just never done. It's just yeah, no, just. And 15 bucks! Okay, look, five? Sure. You know, five for, you know, a, a couple of hours entertainment. I've finished the whole campaign in less than two hours. Um, so, you know, it's... Oh, wait. Ugh. Yeah, again, the whole, like, viewpoint not matching up with what you're expecting, 
and yeah, cool story. Anyway, um, yeah, look, you know, 15 bucks is what they're asking for this. I'm sorry, no, like, no. Like, seriously, no, like, just no. Just, yeah, like 15 bucks is no, just, just no, should not be asked for this. This is not worth 15 bucks, it's really not. It's just, huh. Other crane, that one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just, it's really, it's, it's not worth it. Um, it's buggy as hell. Hell, when I exit half the time, it says Special Ship 2016, not Ships 2017, which I'm assuming was the working title of this. Um, like, it's just little things just never went through QA, and just, I'm just kind of like, really, like, I expect a lot more, like, I really do, and that's not going to make it, so I'm going to need to move my ship a little bit. Cool. Um, you know, and, and if it's for something that says, oh, we do physics, like, you know, we, we physics the shit out of this, you know, sorry, no, you didn't, you know, and don't try and tell me it's because of the Unreal platform, hello, Kerbal Space Program, like, seriously, Ugh. so, you know, it's, the camera is clunky, the graphics are meh at best, um, there's, with this DCV, with this, um, floating crane thing, there's a couple of missions which are underwater, the camera freaks the hell out when you're trying to do the underwater stuff, it really does, um, and, like, physics, no wake, um, and you will see in a moment that, it, and just random, just like, yeah, I'm sure, we'll just click here, um, oh, that's different, That, that that was different. Never had that before. Uh, random. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. No flow, like, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's a title that's supposed to say, you know, we, yes, we do, like, you know, water physics. No, you don't. You don't even have a damn weight. Now, look at this. Seriously? So I'm flying this way, so the boat would have turned into the wake. Just saying. Anyway. Okay. All right. Um, so, cool story, basically, this is broken, it is not worth the $15 that they're asking for, nor is it even worth the $12 on the starting price, uh, for the launch discount, whatever, oh, seriously, it is just so, it's bad, anyway, um, look, I think, I think I'm done with this, I think I'm pretty done with this, um, Again, just didn't even have to get to, the, didn't even have to stop, didn't even have to get to the... <sighs> okay, alright, so we're done with this. Um, thank you very much uh, for tuning in with this. Um, so this is Ships 2017. If you do want to buy it, um, it's available on Steam. I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, thank you to Playway uh, for sending me the review copy. Um, it's getting uninstalled, not going to lie. Um... Yeah, you guys had a nice idea. You and Fragat Studios had a nice idea. This should have... You shouldn't have brought this to PC. You should not have brought this to PC. Send this to the mobile iOS Android market. They'll love it. But PC? No. Just... No. Anyway, alright, my name's been Novawing24, thank you very much for joining me, don't forget as always to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these reviews and want to see more, and of course as always you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter, just search Novawing24. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching, uh, say skies to all, I'm going to go, get rid of this now, alright, catches!